Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this army showcase video. We have a real treat for you today, this vast Mechanicus force with loads of characters, loads of infantry and some really cool big models. Uh, if you're new to Seed Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome here at Seed Studios. We're a UK based premium commission miniature painting studio offering four levels which are all as from our minimum above tabletop. So our bronze is above tabletop level all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality and all the members of staff here at Seed can paint through all those levels. If you are interested in a commission, with us then very simply all you need to do is drop us an email through the contact link below in the description so if you go in the description it says get a quote click on that link it takes you directly to the seed studios website and our contact form on that contact form select the relevant drop down options for your project and requirements and then below that in the message section include a list of models in our model list format once that's done fire it off to us and we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started we're back in a second to have this awesome mechanical force in more detail see you guys back in a second So up first, we have the three characters from this Mechanicus army. And they are a very well-known character in the back. Obviously, Belisarius Call, the man, the legend. And then we have three Tech Priest Engine Seers also as well. Same model three times. Uh, really, really, really cool uh, set of characters for this army as well. Uh, we'll just pull forward one of the Engine Seers first so you can have a look at him. Again, lovely metal work on here with a very much uh, sort of mixed metal texture finish. Uh, so it has various silvers used on it just to give that very sort of steampunk-esque ancient baroque feel to the metalwork. Uh, but as you can see, the lovely glowing green uh, sort of accent colour to the red runes and um, material on the cloth as well, which is really lovely. All the Mechanica symbols picked out there, as you can see on him. Uh, but overall, a really, really cool model. Nice verdigree on the brass areas as well, just to really add that extra little detail onto the models. And I do love the way that you'll see across this force that um, the sort of Mars-esque sort of Martian Earth has been used and integrated to the bottom halves of the models to just incorporate them into the uh, the basing as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just the first one. I will pull forward, as there's, as there's only four models in this section of the video, I will pull forward them all forward just so you can see the consistency from model to model. But again, really lovely finished model here with that verdigree there you can see on the brass areas of the um, arm and also the backpack. Uh, again, the cloth work has got a nice amount of texture all painted onto it and so it looks very ancient and weathered as you can see there as well, which is lovely. And then we'll pull forward the third one before we look at the big man himself. Again, those lovely glowing green runes uh, and gems and lights all done on there, all the screens and things all painted and picked out as well. Again, quite a menacing model with that massive axe as well, just as he's bounding forward. Uh, but again, lovely, lovely model. You can see the consistency from one to the other as we move through these three. Let's have a look at the big man. Uh, really, really cool model. Obviously, when it first came out, uh, lots of people were like, wow, he's huge. And he very, very much is. So you can see the size of his base here. Um, just get that to focus for you guys. He's absolutely caked in detail. Um, loads and loads of bits all over him that really stand out. So many screens and all these kind of things. Obviously, you've got the keys there. You've got the little spider friend that he's got on the front. Uh, the vast book, obviously, that's under his foot as well. Um, but a nice amount of contrast added to the robes as well there just to really add that sort of deep kind of fold in there as well, which is lovely. And moving around the back, you can see, obviously, all of his extra sort of exoskeleton as well. This lovely sort of arm, third arm here, which is quite cool with this claw on it as well, which is cool. But you can see the metal work is very pitty and ancient as well which is an effect that we've done on the armor just to give it that sort of kind of baroque feel uh, and then moving through you can see all the mechanica symbols all painted on the axe and also on his back as well the little glass vials and things are all painted in a lovely sort of glowing blue uh, for liquid and then obviously you've got the green sort of uh, colorway used on a couple of the screens and glowing parts of him as well but really really cool a little bit of freehand there on the hood as well just that mechanica's kind of cog site kind of thing as well for him but overall a really really cool model uh, with loads and loads of details as you can see uh, perfect to lead this vast Mechanicus army. Um, camera's having a little bit of problems um, with focusing just because I'm moving him around quite a bit so you guys can see every aspect of detail. Uh, but again, little lenses and things like on the servo skull all painted, um, but no detail has been missed. We've really gone to town on him. Uh, and that's Belisarius Cool. Uh, coming up next, we have a whole legion of infantry. There's 60 infantry coming up next, so do stick around as they are coming up next. Uh, I do hope you liked all the characters from this section of the video. I'll see you back in a second.
So next up, let's have a look at all the infantry from this vast Mechanicus army, and there are a lot. Um, there's 60 infantry, um, obviously six squads of 10. They can be divided up into fives, and our clients requested quite a selective loadout options. As you can see, the Archivist Rifles, there's eight of them uh, actually in this force, um, allowing them to field sort of small squads of five with two in each squad of five, which is quite cool. Um, so we'll pull them forward, and you can have a look at them. Just to start off with, we'll just have a look at these really, really cool Mechanicus uh, infantry. Just get it to focus for you guys apologies um, and again what um, clients request is a very sort of Mars-esque scheme which is obviously what we've done uh, and Ben obviously who's the painter who's worked on this project has gone with it in a very steampunk-esque kind of gritty realism on them as well uh, obviously all the lenses and glow effects obviously glow nice and bright but got quite a dull kind of palette in them which is quite nice to show that mechanical kind of aspect to them uh, and if you just look on the back here they've got the glowing kind of uh, energy on the backpacks and things uh, all the metal work is pitted and it has lots of texture added to it just to make it look like it's a uh, very ancient uh, uh, and that's just one of the plasma dudes here from the from the from the one of the squads. You can see obviously the green glowing lenses there on his head as well, which is really nice. So that's just him. Uh, pull forward a couple of the guys with rifles, uh, just so you can see these. Again, they've all got transfers. They've all got this lovely, lovely um, attention to detail on all the areas of uh, the intricate sort of armor. Uh, you've got these lovely capes here that have all been highlighted. You've got nice soot effects around the bottom of the capes as well, just to integrate them to the bases as well, which is really lovely. All the green energy screens and things are glowing nicely as well, uh, which is really cool. So that's just one of the uh, dudes with a rifle. Um Let's have a look at uh, another guy here who's running forward, bounding forward. And again, really, really, really cool scheme. I do like the Mars style. It's very iconic, uh, as you can see here, but a lovely, lovely model uh, in that. And then we've got obviously Mars basing style on these as well, which is really cool. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, now, obviously, with 60 infantry, I'm not going to pull forward every single one, uh, but I will pull forward quite a few of the rifle, of these rifles, as you can see. Obviously, there are uh, eight of them in this force, but again, here, as you can, as you can see, the massive, massive base on this guy uh, and he's got the little peg there to help him hold the rifle up but all the details and everything fully painted and highlighted in a lovely fashion uh, all the glowing screens and things as well really really nice and that's just one of the rifles from the force and as I said there's are eight of them in this army uh, let's have a look at one of the uh, sergeants I believe let's just have a look at him I do have to stretch quite a lot because uh, it's quite far back the camera from the table to get them all in um, but as you can see this is just one of the sergeants or squad leaders uh, with a power mall there as you can see and I can't remember the name me what the pistol's got called but there if you do want to put the cut that in the comments feel free to again you can see all the areas of detail fully painted and highlighted uh, lovely green glowing lenses and eye sockets there as you can see on all of these which is a really really cool little attention to detail the red complements in the green really nicely as well so that's just one of the sergeants and just to show consistency from unit to unit i'll pull forward another plasma dude just from another unit here and you can see all these little lenses and things painted every single aspect of detail highlighted and painted in a lovely fashion so that's just him uh, and then one more, I'll pull forward one that's got the comms gear as well, just so you can see him. Again, really, really cool. I do like the little the backpack with all the radio mics and everything, but you can see the glowing green screen on him, him as well. Uh, and I love that Ben has just tied in the bases into the bottoms of the models just by adding those dust and soot effects to the bottom of the feet and... Uh, and the, the capes as well, which is really, really nice. So that's just him. Uh, up next, we're gonna be having a look at some of the bigger models from the army. We've got a load of robots coming, so get ready. They're coming at you right away. See you guys back in a sec. So next up, let's have a look at some of the robots from this Mechanicus Force. And uh, this does not disappoint. We've got obviously the large big boys at the back, and then we've also got the destroyers here as well, which are really, really cool. Uh, Two different sets of models, loads of detail on both. Uh, Ben's done some really cool things on the big boys at the back as well. So we'll just pull forward some of these smaller ones as well, just so you can have a look at them first of all. Again, really same consistent scheme across all the models. All the metal works, very pitted, uh, has that very weathered kind of feel to it. Uh, lovely kind of blue glow there on the plasma, really makes it stand out. So it's straight away visible. Uh, you can see on that armor panel there, that lovely sort of edge highlighted chipping kind of um, work that's been done just to really break up that red armor color and also a bit of uh, add a bit of age to it as well. If you look on the back, as well you can just see obviously that that pitted kind of nature on there as well but all the brass work there with verdigris added as well in a lovely lovely fashion uh, very pallid kind of skin tone as well just to really make them look like the uh, kind of cyborgs that they are again all those lenses and everything picked out as well in a lovely fashion but a uh, nice integration of the basic material into the models as well in the lower portions just to really show they've been driving around on that martian surface for quite some time uh, so that's just one of them i'll pull forward a selection uh, obviously they're all the same all six of them but um, i'll just pull them all forward so you can have a quick look at all of them as i rotate round all the cables different bits and bobs of detail all fully painted there lenses all the metal work with that lovely uh, sort of aged pitted look as well so that's just him 
And then uh, I'll pull forward one more, just so you can have a one more before we move through to the uh, robots at the back. Again, really, really cool. Really interesting model as well, obviously, the half-tracked, half kind of like uh, infantry torso kind of model as well, which is really, really funny and cool. Uh, so that's just him. And then let's start having a look at these really, really awesome robots. Again, you can see Ben's done some stellar sort of chevrons there that are really weathered and pitted. The paint almost falling off on these as well, in the sense of the, the wear of, of, the, of the paintwork as well, just to make it look like it's uh, it's been you know, around for a long, long, long time. Uh, all the little extra little details, all the little rivets and dot things all painted as well. Um, transfers are added there, as you can see, and all the metal work, the very pitted and aged as well, just to really keep the theme and uh, overall look of this force very unanimous and similar. Uh, and obviously, without go, without missing it, the, the massive skull there on the um, on the face plates as well, very uh, very sort of robotic there. Uh, definitely going to get get someone killed with. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that uh, pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at them again really cool pose on this guy just scanning for a target uh, you've got that wear on the um, wear on the paintwork so it looks like the, un the, the, the undercoat of the primer underneath that is shown which is really cool uh, and I don't mean in the sense of our painting I meant in the sense of the model painting just in case you're wondering um, but a good example there of that pitted kind of metal work on that ammo clip there that sort of same consistent pittedness has also been done across the, uh, across the force uh, all the brass work has got a lovely amount a little bit of verdigris on it as well transfers you can see all added as well i love the way they look weathered as if they're just been rubbing off as well uh, just looks like these these bat these robots have been in battle for a long time you've got a lovely subtle glow there of orange on the energy pack on the back as well just to show a bit of uh, light source on, on that as well which is lovely and uh, the wear on the chevrons as well just to give it a very battle worn kind of look as well uh, and obviously all these green skulls uh, green glowing sort of view screens on their on their heads as well are really ominous another guy, one here just so you can see this one every little rivet and everything fully painted as well which is really cool move around so you can see them just in this running pose as well which is lovely uh, so that's just him and again you can have a better look at that mars-esque style basing that's been done across the force on this model uh, love the little green sort of green skulls on the on the view screens or head screens whatever you want to call them and the final one which is in a really cool shooting kind of pose uh, is just this chap here as well as you can see just blasting someone into oblivion and uh, and obviously doing it in a very very timely fashion uh, you've got obviously all the transfers you can see here again that weathering done on those just to in sort of incorporate those into the models as well uh, but then moving around you've got sort of nice highlight points on the on the edges as well and also you've got the nice wear on the paintwork down to that kind of like chevron kind of scheme as well which is really really cool uh, and that's just the last robot do hope you like them last up we're going to have the big heavy hitters coming of the force so we've got the knight and then two onga dune crawlers stick around they're coming up next see you guys shortly so last but by no means least, let's have a look at the big guns of this Mechanicus army. Really cool sets of models here, Onga Dune Crawler and also a Knight as well. Uh, the Knight obviously being a great centerpiece model to add to any 40k army that you uh, that is appropriate for. Uh, and the Onga Dune Crawler, a very iconic Mechanicus model since its release as well. Uh, so let's pull them forward. We'll have a look at the Onga first of all. Again, really, really cool kind of uh, gritty kind of feel to this army uh, in the sense of the way that the highlighting has been done on the models and also all the metal work and brass work very pitted and chipped as well which is really lovely uh, you can see that subtle dark uh, portion towards the armor panels where it's brighter at the top just to show that natural ambient lighting uh, lovely mars basing scheme as well that we've seen across this army as well which is lovely it just obviously going onto the feet just dusting that on just so it's integration between the model and also the base uh, if we're just moving close you can see that really pitted kind of uh, feel that the army has got and weathered feel uh, if you look at the sort of cream mechanical parts you can just see obviously that weathering that's been done on there and also the kind of scratched kind of like edge highlight kind of technique that's been used uh, just to really pick out those armor panels nice verdigree work done on all the brass areas as well which is lovely and we've got obviously the uh, mechanicus pilot gunner here with those complementary green lenses all over the model obviously as you can see all those lenses just to pick out those areas of detail uh, but a lovely lovely finish to this uh, to this onga june crawler in that very kind of pitted weathered battled feel uh, for this guy which is just lovely uh, so that's just him uh, the other one's exactly the same um, i will briefly pull it forward just so you can have a look at that as well but it matches exactly the same as the other one which is really really nice uh, just turn that around for you guys just to see really quickly all the areas of detail are painted and on it as well which is great mechanical symbol there just on the back uh, and every little lens even the one so you can see behind him all highlighted and picked out as well in a lovely fashion so that's just him let's have a look at the big boy um so the mechanicus knight moves forward so we can have a look at him 
Um, really, really cool, as I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with knights. They are a great addition to any army uh, that you do add them to. Uh, this one obviously armed with a rocket pod on top as well, but you can see all the little lenses and everything painted. Uh, we'll just have a little zoom on focus on that top plate there. You can see all the brass work with verdigris on it as well, which is lovely. All the little lenses on all the missile launcher picked out. The hatch light is all done as well. It looks like it's glowing from within, which is really cool. All the transfers have been applied. Mechanica symbol there. You've got that eerie glowing... Um, eerie glowing kind of like teeth face area. It's got a lovely subtle side of blue tinge to it as well, which is nice. Again, all the little brass work with verdigris done in a lovely fashion as well. This guy's obviously got his name on there as well, um, which is really cool. You've got the, uh, the banner in the middle of the legs that's got all the transfers and everything applied. All those chevrons as well on the banner and also on the kneecap all done as well. Uh, but multiple levels of highlighting on all the edges. Um, even on the individual panels, you've got this lovely subtle transition from light to dark where it's dark at the bottom of the panel and obviously brighter at the top. Um, tiny little lenses and everything and all the weapons all painted as well. Uh, but overall, a very striking color scheme here that black red and yellow um, with obviously some of the white accents on the chevrons as well all the little power cables and things painted uh, and you can just have a look at the fist here and see all the weathering that's been done on it okay little scuffs and nicks and scratches uh, but no expense has been spared uh, a real stellar amount of time and effort has been put on this just get that to focus on the back for you guys as well uh, as you can see all the areas of detail on that engine and uh, on the metal work but again very pitted kind of feel on the, uh, on the metal work it's got various shades of silver and, and some brass and, and browns just to really give it that ancient kind of feel uh, and it's not pristine it's been uh, well kept but obviously it's very very old which is what um, a client requested in his spec um, so that's just this uh, lovely lovely night to go with this army do hope you like it and it gives you a bit an idea of the knights that we can execute for you if you do get take one out here at siege we're going to come back shortly with the full army overview again so you can see it in all its glory and also find out a little bit more about how to take out a army character or project with us here at the studio see you guys back in a sec So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I do hope that you have liked this vast Mechanicus Force. Uh, I know Ben had a pleasure working on it. Uh, it's a really cool army. If you are interested in a commission with us, be it like for an army like this, a small force, a character, or even a squad, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link. It takes you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form. Once you're on that contact form, there's a couple of things you need to do, very simple. Select the relevant drop-down options for your project from those available. And in the message section, include a list of models in our model list format, which is also shown on there. It's very simple to enter it in that way and it allows us to get back to you very quickly with a quote. Um, once you fire that off to us, we will then generate a quote, get that sent back to you and get the process started. Um, finally, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favor, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with all the videos that we do put up. And if you do hit the bell icon, you will be notified of new videos as they go up. Let us know in the comments what you think about Mechanicus, what's your favorite Forge World character, for example. It's really good to chat to you guys. And finally, the last thing I'd ask of you is that all our social media links can be found in the description of this video as well. So Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those because you can see all the photos of the different projects that we do, competitions, loads of other things. They're all included on those. Uh, and finally, thank you ever so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.